Hi guys and welcome back to another Dot Race video and today we're going to be playing MotoGP 22 and today we're going to be doing another track breakdown within the MotoGP Academy and of course today it's time for Portimao, the circuit of the Algarve with Miguel Oliveira on his Red Bull KTM. So this first lap just showing you what we're going to be doing for Sector 1 and then I'll break it down for you in just a moment's time. So getting across the line we'll then start with the breakdown. So into Turn 1 Make sure you'll be braking nice and early here, well before you get to the rumble strip. Really calm on the brakes, but a lot of force. Not too much, of course, like 100%, but roughly around 80% on the left trigger, up to about 90. Use a lot of rear brake and downshift to the first or second gear. That is entirely up to you, but uh, I tend to mess around with both. Second gear does feel a little bit more stable, but going into the next part, of course, is the critical part to actually maintaining a good time. So onto the brakes we'll go firm all the right way down to uh, the first gear there, keeping the bike on the right hand side for the prime era corner, keeping it nice and tight once again, and braking just as the bike begins to get parallel and begins to straighten up, chuck it into the right hand side for Largos for the right hand side, keep it into the left now. You can trail brake ever so slightly there just to reduce the speed and tuck the bike into the left, but you can or you may not. I tend to favour doing so. So into turn one, I'm going to brake a little bit more heavy for you this time, as you can see, getting a little bit out of shape. Rear wheel lifting into the air to combat that. A little bit less on the front brake and more rear brake to keep that rear tyre planted to the ground. Prime era corner is a very, very difficult corner and it will take you a good couple of goes. So I do implore you to watch this video a few times if you need to. But now into the left hand side, bringing on the power. Choose to use a ride height device if you want. Firstly for myself, I didn't bother. But into sector two, same spot, braking after that sort of uh, white finishing line as we go now to the left hand side for the Tour VIP, keeping it to the middle of the circuit. Of course, this corner has a very weird feeling that sucks you into the corner and sort of makes you lose control of the bike, but don't worry about it, just work with it, not against it. But into turn seven, now into Samsung for turn eight, braking as literally as the bike went parallel, as both wheels went parallel and the bike starts straightening up, you straight back onto the right hand side. Now, of course, the very difficult Craig Jones corner for turn 9 and the right hander for turn 10. We're going to look into this with a little bit more depth in just a moment's time. So we're going to be doing this sector four times, just as well as we did with the first one. So breaking nice and early, well before you get to the rumble strips, keeping the uh, Oliveira's KTM really tight to the apex there, and then slowly bring on the acceleration. Now, it is very, very imperative here that you don't accelerate too much because if the rear wheel starts sliding or if you end up getting a wheelie going over that rise, you'll not get the right-hander for Samsung done correctly and even the right-hander before that. But now over the massive hill part here, now down to the left-hand side for the Craig Jones corner, keep the bike in nice and tight and brake really early here. Really early but really gentle. Gives you way more control and way more feeling on the brakes rather than just trying to brake and turn in the right moment. So... If you can work that in nice and small, slowly, nice and calm on the brakes, you'll be all right. Great place to start with the brakes is here, coming into this left hand and then into the right. Brake gently as you go to the right hand side. Pay attention to the bottom right corner of your screen. You'll notice there's not much pressure on that front brake when I applied the brakes there. It's very, very minimal, but it's enough to slow the KTM down and it's enough to bring you into the corner controlled without messing up the corner. Same thing for the right hand side here, look at that bottom right hand corner of your screen, plenty of rear brake tapping but the front brake did not exceed 50-60%. Cannot stress that enough to you, it doesn't mean every single corner you have to brake 100% and just go really firm, you've got to be gentle. Same point here, barely reach 75% on the brakes there. You guys need to be doing the same thing, you cannot be slamming on the anchors into most of these corners, especially not here in Portimao. So go to the right hand side, bring it in nice and tight to the left hand side for the Craig Jones corner, and as the bike begins to straighten up, just gentle, really really gentle on the brakes there, and just slowly move the rider's weight across. Don't flick the rider because that will chuck you off, just be really in control with precise movements and you're going to tackle the Portimao corner with ease. So now after that one, you're going to go into the left hand side for turn 12 for sector 3, quite possibly the easiest part of this track as we now go nice and tight to the apex for 13. Begin to straighten the bike up, keep it going to the left hand side so you get a nice wide turning circle into Sagresh and then right hander, there you go, that one's done. Don't worry about the autopilot, it does weird things after that one, but don't worry about that for now. So into turn 11, nice and smooth, nice and calm, chuck it to the left hand side but keep it in nice and tight, don't run on the rumble strips because it can send you 
a little bit dual alley, so just be a bit careful on that one as we go into 13. Didn't favour for the really tight apex, but I'm just showing you other ways to tackle it. It's a really simple sector to do. So I'm, again, if you need practice or you need a bit more time with it, definitely watch the video back and forth. But uh, for now, I don't think you'll have too much issues with this sector. Sector 1, Sector 2 seem to be the really tough ones, and then Sector 4 and 3, yeah, you can relax a little bit. But into the left-hand side for 13 once again, favouring the really tight apex. Quick short shift up to second as we go to the right-hand side. Keep it in really tight here for Sagression, then you can slowly bring on the acceleration to the right-hand side to then projectile yourself into the final sector. So here we go, then sector four. Keep the balancing of the acceleration going here for 14. Slowly bring on the power, but not too aggressively. You don't want to be spinning up the rear, and especially not into the gallop. Let go of the acceleration. Just chuck a little bit of re uh, trail brake in, or a bit of rear brake, whatever you prefer. And now, go for the acceleration. Use a ride height device, as mentioned, if you want to. Personally, for me, it's not my thing. But across the line, that's enough for sector four. One more time, into 14. Keep it in nice and tight to the apex. Slowly accelerate here now and just, just reduce acceleration and put on the brakes. Keep it in nice and tight or to the middle of the circuit. I went for a wider line last time and as you can see, didn't quite like it because it does leave you open for uh, overtakes or maybe a bit of contact in the middle, but still seems rather quickly. But of course this one is more importantly about you guys learning the tracks and getting better on the bikes rather than racing and trying to get the best lap times possible. But into the right hand side for the gallop for the final time before we go into the complete laps. Keeping on to the right hand side here without accelerating too aggressively. You will see the acceleration will bounce every now and again on my right hand side of the screen. It's never actually fully pinned unless it's a straight. So here we go then, the complete lap. Breaking into the primary corner well before you reach anywhere near the pit lane entrance or any of the signs onto the left hand side. It's pretty much kind of straight away after you get across the line. And now into the right hand side, breaking well before that white line on your left hand side there, into Lagos, as we now position the motorcycle to the left hand side. And now once again, I want to mention, when you're turning with the bike, you need to be moving the rider well before you reach the actual corner, because the bike needs to lean rather than just turn like you would do in a car. So now into the tall VIP, tackles pretty well, of course that strange glitch where the bike just doesn't move will occur in that corner, but just fight through it or work with it actually rather than fighting it because fighting it will only make matters worse as we now go into Samsung for turn 8 slowly bring on the acceleration oh a bit eager on the acceleration I was on that particular part so just remember upshift into that sort of hill section and slowly bring on the acceleration and now bringing on the brakes nice and gently for turn 10 keeping it nice and tight to the apex perfectly done for turn 11 a little bit of a wheelie there but nothing to be too, con too concerned about at this stage of the Grand Prix and then brake to the left hand side for turn 13. Nice and tight apex, you will see I've begun to favour that rather than going for the middle of the track, but you can do both. It's, I'm more used to the sort of overtaking style for that particular corner, but now into the final part, into the gallop, keep it in nice and tight to the apex, just a little bit of front brake, just a trail brake into the corner, and slowly bring on the acceleration, bring on the power, Bring on the ride out device if you want to, and then get across the line to complete the challenge. But we are not done just quite just yet. Would like to do just one more lap just to really push my points home. So into the first corner, drop it down into second gear or first. That is entirely up to you. Do find the second keeps the bike a little bit more stable, but first does help you slow the bike a little bit down with the engine brake applied. As we now go into right hand side for Lagos, keep it in the middle of the circuit, bring it over to the left hand side, try and aim for the middle of the track there and you'll go far as you now bring on the power and of course near that TSO sign you're going to start braking just after the TSO sign if you will and then going into the tour VIP keep the bike in the middle of the circuit slowly bring on the acceleration whilst gently moving the rider in his desired d direction so you now go very firm on the brakes for turn seven actually not firm rather gentle if you will but uh, it does come across as a rather firm movement from the rider's perspective but for us be relatively gentle upon that braking part. But now to the left hand side for the Craig Jones. Prepare yourself as the wheels start to go parallel. Nice and gentle. Pay attention to the bottom right corner of your screen. Really relaxed, calm braking. So to do it for that particular corner. As we now go to the left hand side for 12. Nice and tight to the apex without touching the rumble strip. And now braking firm for the middle of turn 13. Going for that sort of tighter apex as well. Slowly move the rider over to the right hand side. A little bit wide here for Sagresh, but once again, doesn't really matter. We're just trying to complete the lap within 
the lap time of one of a 139.680, which we are certainly going to do as we go into Galp for the final time of asking. Bringing on the power with power setting three enabled. Slowly lift the rider up so he's in the parallel position at zero degrees lean angle, and bring on the power and get across the line to tackle Portimao with a gold lap time. So that's it guys, I hope this video has helped you. If it has, let me know in the comments section down below. And of course, if you want to see more videos just like this, be sure to hit the subscribe button and let me know what you want to see next. And on that note guys, thanks for watching, like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Ciao for now. Oh hi, didn't quite see you there. Good to see you're still here. If this video didn't quite set your appetite, then why not watch some more Dot Race content by clicking the video shown on screen now. Furthermore, if you would like to follow me on social media, you can do so now with the links down in the description. Consider subscribing so you don't miss a single Dr. Ace video.